So Paul Rieger, also an alum, asks, is, this one's about democracy, is our democracy more in crisis now than other pivotal times in history, such as the Revolutionary War, the Civil War, racial segregation, the McCarthy hearings? If so, why? I'm not a big fan of the comparing, like, like I said before, like I don't want to compare the pain of what I experienced in Israel compared to the pain of Ukraine or the pain in Gaza or the, like I'm, 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 I don't like to do that just because it, I don't even know how one um, quantifies anything like that. But I do think democracy is in a great, great deal of peril right now. Um, because right now we, not, we do not only have a large chunk of the country that has been convinced that lies about the election are true. And I honestly think that they are victims. I honestly perceive these people to be victims of a lie industrial complex that is uh, MAGA Republicans, Republicans who know better, who are keeping their mouth shut, Murdoch and that crowd. And uh, like that, there is a group that is just like for fun and profit and power has just lied to so many people about the 2020 election that so many Americans, Republicans, some independents now believe this lie. That is really, really dangerous. I will say I was very happy to see in the 2022 election, including in this great state, those people who were running for statewide office not win, um, including in Arizona, the only Republican who won statewide was the one who was not an election liar, and all the others lost, but election liars in individual congressional districts did win. So that's distressing, but what's worse about it now, in my view, than, what, than in 2022, is that now violence is an accepted part of, the threat of violence is now an accepted part of this lie. The threat of violence is now an accepted part of this lie. And we know from accounts from people like Mitt Romney and Adam Kinzinger and Liz Cheney that one of the reasons lots of Republicans did not vote to impeach Donald Trump was because they were worried. They were worried about violence against them and their family members. And this is not something, um, this, this is a real danger. This is a real danger to, and there are Republicans I know, um, including in this great state, who retired from politics because of it. And that's really bad, that's, a, that's really dangerous to have good people retire because they are afraid of violence to themselves or their family. So I am very concerned about it. Um, and um, the silence of, uh, of leaders I keep mentioning Mitt Romney, Liz Cheney, and Adam Kinzinger. The silence of leaders other than those three uh, is very distressing. Elizabeth, I just want, I want to stay here for a second because, you know, the series that, that we have you as part of is called Democracy in Crisis. Yeah. And, um, and, and we co-sponsor this with the Ford School that is creating the next generation of public policy Experts. This is a Gerald Ford school, right? It is, yeah. Okay, I just want to make sure it wasn't Henry. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I should have checked before, right? I'm a bigger fan of Gerald than Henry. Let's just yes. leave it at that. Yeah. 